Good evening and thank you for joining us for our second evening prayers. These prayers are an opportunity to look back over the day and to present all that has happened to the Lord and to Mary. But they are also an important moment where we are all united in prayer and praise as the Stonyhurst and Catholic Association family. And so we begin our prayers together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The grace for which we pray. Let us pause for a moment and express in our hearts to God our hopes and desires for these days we share together, taking part in the Lord's experience. Whatever we desire, may each of us have the grace to offer all that we do for the greater glory of God. We are part of God's creation. With all creation, may we give glory to God, from whom all good things come. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. And they said, Why are you Galileans standing here looking into the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come back in the same way as you have seen him go to heaven. So from the Mount of Olives, as it's called, they went back to Jerusalem, a short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Jude, son of James. With one heart, they all joined constantly in prayer, together with some of the women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. You have redeemed us, Lord God of truth. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, Lord, I commend my spirit. The Prayers of the Faithful. Let us turn to the Father, who in his infinite love has revealed his truths to us through his Son, Jesus Christ. We pray for the Pope, all priests and religious around the world. Bless them. Father, give them through the Holy Spirit wisdom and strength and protect them physically and spiritually. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for pilgrims of the Catholic Association in this year when we are unable to travel. We pray especially for those who are sick, both at home and in hospital, that our loving and caring Father look down on them with compassion and give them relief in their illness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who promote the word and love of the Lord in our church. We pray that seeds be sown in our community, which will bear fruit and bring new shepherds into the church to tend to God's flock. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Let us pray. In your mercy, Lord, dispel the darkness of this night. Let your household so sleep in peace that at the dawn of a new day they may, with joy, awaken in your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much once again for joining us for our evening prayers. God bless.